So now our game needs a way of scoring points and allowing a player to win. GameMaker has a built-in score property, but it's really meant more for single players, so it only keeps track of one score. Since we have two players, we need two different scores, so we're going to have to set up our own. To do this, we'll create a scorekeeping object. So come up and make a new object. I'm going to call this object underscore scorekeeper. It doesn't need a sprite because we'll never see it. It's just holding on to values. And we want this object to set up the initial scores when it is created. So we'll go to Add Event, Create, and then we'll come over to Control, come down to Variable, Set Variable, and move it over to our actions. We are going to create the variable blue underscore score and give it a value of zero. Click OK and pull in another set variable. This time it will be orange underscore score with a value of zero as well. Click OK. Now the names blue score and orange score are arbitrary names. They are names that I made up and created in these variables. When you call the name of a variable that doesn't exist, GameMaker will set it up and initialize it at that point as an actual variable or property in the game. And actually, this is making blue score and orange score properties of our object scorekeeper. What I actually want to do is make them available to all objects, so I'm going to reopen these by double clicking on them, and just before the name blue score, I am going to add the word global dot blue score. And this one will be global dot orange score. The word global indicates that the variable is available to every object in the game. So any object can call orange score or blue score and have access to that property. This isn't strictly necessary because without the word global we could have just said object underscore scorekeeper dot orange score and it would have still accessed the same variable but obviously this is shorter and easier to handle so click OK and now we actually have to get these numbers to show up on screen all we've done here is basically set up some numbers behind the scenes we are actually going to have to tell object scorekeeper to draw them on the screen if we want to see them before we do this however we need to set up a font Fonts basically act just like any other asset in our game, and we can easily set them up by coming over to our Assets window and right-clicking Fonts, Create Font, or by coming up here and hitting the little TT. Now we'll open the Font window. We'll give it a name, call it Font underscore Score. We'll keep it as Font Arial Anti-Aliasing 3, but we'll set the size to, say, 32, and we will make it bold. Now you can see over here on the right, all of the different characters that our font will contain. And we don't need most of them because this is only going to keep track of numbers for our score. We don't need all these special symbols and we don't need letters. So what we can do is come over to this next window, hit the clear all, then hit the plus button, and then we will come up and hit the digits button. And so now you can see that all this font will contain are the numbers 0 through 9. You could just keep the entire font in there, and if you were going to have words show up, then you'd probably want all those letters in there. However, since we only need the numbers, we don't need to use up any more memory or system resources keeping track of all the unnecessary characters. So click OK, and our font is now ready, so come back over to the right, click OK, and you can see over here we now have the font score ready to go. Now we're going to have our object scorekeeper draw those on the screen. We do that by adding event, draw, draw. And there are special drawing actions that can only be put inside of a draw event that we are going to need. And those are over here on the draw tab down at the bottom. First we need to establish which font we are using. We do that by coming into the settings category set font, drag that over, and we want to select that font score that we set up earlier. We also want this aligned to the right, and click OK. We're also going to set the color to match that of the player, so over here in settings, set color, 
drag that over, click on the color bar, and I'll just pick this color right here. Click OK. And now we have to tell it what to draw, which is the value of our player's score. That is actually on the control tab down here on the right, draw variable. Why it's not actually on the draw tab, I don't know. Just drag it over, and the variable name that we want is global dot blue underscore score. And the coordinates we are going to give it is 300 x 5 y. So at 300 x 5 y it will then draw a blue number corresponding to our global blue variable. So click OK. And now we need to do this again for the orange player. So come back to draw, set font, select the font score. This time we want it aligned to the left. Click OK. Set color. Click this and we'll pick, say that for an orange color. You can also define custom colors and make your own. Actually, let's uh, brighten this up just a little bit maybe. That looks good. Click OK. And then finally, we need to tell it to display the variable. So go back to control, draw variable, and we want global dot orange underscore score. This time we will set it to an X of 340 and a Y of 5. Click OK. And before we can actually test this out now, we need to place it within our room. So click OK. And open up the room window. With the object tab selected, find the object scorekeeper and just place it anywhere in the room. Now you will see that we get this little blue circle with a question mark in it and that is because we do not have a sprite to display. However, this indicates that the object does exist and is in fact inside the room. So I'll just click this magnifying glass to set it back to normal and let's test it. And we see up there in the top the blue and orange player's score. Now we haven't set up the ball yet so that it's not actually adding any points to the score. So let's do that. 